Hello, Sandra here. So, I haven't really done this video yet. You know, this is a channel about me being gender fluid, and so far, I have exclusively focused on my male self and my female to male side. I have yet to touch on my cis self at all. And quite frankly, I've been a little reluctant to do this video. Um, right here, online, this, this is my safe place. This is where I get to be Sander. I get the pronouns that I want. I'm seen as a male. In my real life, beyond this computer screen, where I live, where I breathe, that kind of thing, I don't get that. Even the people that I'm out with don't see me as just a male. I don't get that validation or that recognition here. So the thought of putting anything online about the fact that I'm a female, even just pictures of me as my female self, I get increasingly agitated about it. I'm convinced that it's going to change people's perceptions of me. That suddenly they're not going to see me as a male anymore. They're going to start seeing me as a female or anything but just a male. And if I lose that, I lose the only place that I really get to be my full self. But given the fact that my cisgender is a huge part of who I am and it's why I'm gender fluid, it really needs to be talked about. It needs to be addressed. So even though my heart's racing a little bit, um, I'm definitely going to talk about it. So, you know, I mentioned this before back in summer, I really thought that I was just trans. And I still have people who ask me, are you sure that you're not trans? Because I'm so out as a male online and it's what I focus on. But, you know, back in summer I was, you know, sitting there just pondering my life and exploring my identity. And the thought of turning my back on my gender, of completely rejecting my female self, I couldn't do it. I could not walk away from being a female. It's just not something that's possible for me. And there's a whole host of reasons why I'm a cis female, in addition to being my male self and a bunch of other genders. You know, one of the big ones for me was actually the physical side of things. Sometimes I get dysphoria, wicked dysphoria. I look in the mirror and I don't know who's looking back. I have to put on the beard, I have to bind, I have to pack to feel complete, to feel like myself. But I don't want that to be permanent. You know, I don't want that to be there forever. I am completely comfortable in my female body a vast majority of the time. And so the thought of, you know, physically transitioning is not something I'm interested in at all. Um, I can't be on hormones anyway, for medical reasons. And as badly as I want a beard, like I would probably sell my soul for a beard, you know, like a wizard beard, you know, something that long and fancy. Um, I don't want to change anything else with the hormones, especially my voice. I have years of voice training, you know, uh, I'm a singer and an actor and I've worked really hard to get to where I am with my voice and I really don't want to change that. You know, when I'm presenting as a male, it is the worst thing because it gives me away in an instant, but other than that, I really don't want to lose this at all. I really don't. As for, you know, like lower surgery, yeah, no, we're just, we're going to glaze over that one and move on to top surgery, which is probably the only one I might consider of all the different ways to transition, you know, that would probably be the one that I'd be most comfortable with, but I have no intention of doing that, quite honestly. I really don't. So if I could morph between body parts, you know, like Tonks and Harry Potter, you can morph all over the place, that would be awesome. That would be perfect for me because I do switch quite frequently between wanting to present as a male and wanting to present as a female. It just kind of flows all the time. But, you know, there are so many other things other than the physical side that have really drove home for me that I am a cis female in addition to everything else. And, you know, I've done multiple takes of this video and by the time I get to this part, I get so tongue tied and I just don't know how to describe it to people. How I know that I'm a cis female. And really it's just like with anyone else. You just know. 
you just feel what gender you are. You just sense it. And for me, that's the way it is. I just know that I'm a female. It's such a huge part of me that I just refuse to ever lose. It's not something I could ever lose. Just like I could never lose my male self. I can't lose either one of those, you know. And just over time, all these different things, you know, just always add up. Things like, um, you know, when it comes to romance, for example, I'm a lesbian. That's the way I'm programmed. And so if I think of myself with somebody, I am a female in a relationship with another female. And I have female pronouns. I go by Shelly, you know, my name. And I go by girlfriend or wife. I, you know, realized recently technically I'm also straight because I'm a male who's attracted to females. But it's hard for me to really see myself as a male with a female in a relationship exclusively. You know, when I'm presenting as a male and I'm myself a sander, then yeah, absolutely. But to be just a boyfriend or just a husband does not click with me. It just really doesn't. I just see myself as a female with a female. That's simple as that, you know? There's really no other way for me to put that. And so really the only issue that I'm, I'm having with my cis female self that I struggle with is finding balance between my different genders. You know, where I live right now, it's a small town. I've been here off and on for 19 years. So some of the people around here have literally seen me grow up. So everyone here, I mean, down to waitresses at the family restaurant know me and they know me as a female. So I don't feel comfortable presenting as a male in my own town. I have to go to the next town over, even to the city to present as a male for that day. So I would like to be able to balance that. I'd like to be able to present as a male outside of this computer and have that here instead of just being on here as my safe place and be able to put my female self on the computer more. But the way it is right now, the balance is just not there. So like I said, this video is making me rather uncomfortable because I really don't want to lose the only place that I can be Sander, where I can be my male self. In addition to being my cis female self, who I am, you know, 95% of the time presenting as, if not more. So that's a little bit on why I'm a cis female and just my cis female self. Hello. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys later.